I've just worked with um, Ken Loach on his latest film, Looking for Eric, um, which is doing very, very well in Europe. And I think the reason, one of the reasons why I'm here tonight at the European Film Awards is because Ken's work seems to be more appreciated in Europe than it is in his homeland. And there's various reasons for that, um, obvious reasons as well. So I think European filmmaking is good because each country has its kind of own identity, but yet they're all, they're all different. So it's like a big melting pot of creativity, if you like. And what's interesting about European filmmaking as well is that it's innovative, some of it, creative. So it's nice to put all that into the mix and see what comes out. I never thought of myself as being that. I just think of myself as an actor. Um, I've never put that label on myself. And I, I've never even regarded myself as, as an English actor because people haven't said to me, what nationality actor are you? They've said to me, what do you do for a living? And I've said, I'm an actor. Um, if somebody said, what country are you from? I'd say, and what's your job? I'd say, yeah, I'm an English actor. If somebody from Australia asked me, I'd probably say, yeah, I'm a European actor. So it's just another label that people put on you. But like I say, it's a melting pot of creativity and innovation in European filmmaking. And long may it continue. Get, get a camera and get out there and make stuff, you know. Um, some of the great, great films that you've seen are low budget stuff. But unfortunately, they don't get a wide enough audience because, first of all, they don't have a good distribution deal or they don't have a lot of money to pay for advertising space between soap operas and TV adverts and stuff like that. So I'm quite a good believer in guerrilla filmmaking. You want to make a film, go and get some actors or non-actors, point a camera and make your film. Uh, sadly, it might not be coming at a blockbuster, but lately um, there's a horror film out that costs next to nothing to make that is doing very good business, and Blair Witch Project done very good business, so it can happen.